Hey, good morning, my friends. Um, today, we're going to work on morning work uh, for day one, week 12. So yeah, we're on week 12 and we only do it every other week. So we're doing pretty well. We're more than halfway through the school year, my friends. Um, and today's the first day of March. And if you can see, I got my Robin scarf on because a Robin is one of the first signs of spring. So I'm excited about spring and I hope you are too. Anyways, okay, so let's, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and bring up our morning work. And remember, it's always good to watch this video, even if you got them all right, we give you strategies and we help you review the skills. So we're just going to do day one. And if you look at the very first question, let me bring up my annotate feature here. Um, if you bring look at the very first question, it has us practicing multiplying by zero and then a simple times two fact, all right? So one times zero is zero. Remember zero is our hero. Any number times zero will give you zero. Four times zero is also zero. And two times two is two, four is four. Remember when you multiply by two, you just double, think double. So two times two is four. Um, and so remember when you look at those number sentences with the zeros in them, there's always two zeros, okay? Um, and it's different than multiplying by one when it's one and the same and the other two numbers are the same. Okay, let's look at our word problem next. It says Joey is running a 26 mile marathon. Joey takes a break after four miles. He then runs eight miles before taking a second break. How many miles does Joey have left to run? So it's a 26 mile marathon. So that's the length of the entire race. He takes a break after four miles. So that seems reasonable. He runs four miles, takes a break. And then he runs eight miles before he takes another break. How many miles does Joey have left to run? So if you think about this, we're taking a whole race and we're splitting it into three parts. The amount he ran first, the amount he ran second, and the amount he has left to run. So we would represent that with a three-part number bond. So um, while maybe you don't need the picture, the picture really makes you stop and think about the concept and understand how to present it. So I'm going to take the race and I'm going to split it into three parts. The total race is 26. He runs four miles and then he takes his first break. He runs another eight miles, then he takes his second break. And then this is what he has left to run. All right, so how do we figure that out? It's a three part number bond. And the easiest way I know how to do it, you could subtract 26, take 26 and subtract four, get your answer and then take that answer and subtract eight. But I like to add these two because I think adding is easier than subtracting. So if I add four and eight, I get 12. I'm gonna put that right in there because 12 represents the total of those two parts or the sum of those two parts. And now I've just got to take my 26 and subtract 12. So 26 minus 12, and you can do that in your head. You can do it mentally, or you can use the algorithm. If I do 26 minus 12 with the algorithm, I would get 14. So 14 is what he has left to run. How many miles does Joey have left to run? We would say 14, make sure you dress up your number and put 14 miles, okay? All right, the next one is a simple algorithm. It's 500 minus 250. I'm gonna show you two ways to solve this. We can use the algorithm, but we are subtracting across zeros. So remember step one is always subtract the ones. We have zero minus zero is zero. Step two, subtract the tens. Well, I can't take five tens from zero tens, so I have to unbundle. I'll go to the hundreds place. My five hundreds becomes four hundreds. But the good news is now I have 10 tens. 10 minus five is five. Four minus two is two. My answer for 500 minus 250 is 250. Now, I prefer to do this because it eventually becomes mental math for me. So I'm going to use a number line. And I'm finding the difference between 250, which is my smaller number, so I'll put it to the left part of my number line, and 500, which I'll put to the right part of my number line. And I have to find that difference between those two numbers, okay? I'm going to erase that. Sorry, guys, I don't like the way my five looks there. Okay, I'll make that a little bit neater for you. All right, so I want to get from 250 to 500, and I want to make a friendly number first. So 250 is already pretty friendly, but if I add 50 to that, I get an even friendlier number. The more zeros a number has, the friendlier it is. So 250 plus 50 would give me 300. And now I've got to get from 300 to 500. Well, I can do that mentally. I can do it in one jump. You might need two, that's 200. 
And so how do I get my answer? I add my two jumps, 200 plus 50, and my answer is 250, just like I got with the algorithm. So I actually think this is a little more fun. It makes more sense to me, um, but you can do it however you want. I just wanted to supply you with that second strategy. All right, let's go to our last question for day one. It says, write the missing numbers to complete the pattern. So it is a pattern question, but this is different than the ones we've done in the past. So if we look at our numbers, we start with 56, we go to 54, we go to 52. So what do you notice that is different about the pattern this week compared to previous weeks? If you said the numbers are going down, you are absolutely right. And because it's a pattern, they're probably going down by the same amount each time. When I go from 56 to 54, I'm counting back to 55, 54. When I go from 54 to 52, I'm counting back to 53, 52. So the pattern is to subtract two each time. So I'm gonna write that here, kind of small, minus two. So 56 minus two gives me 54, 54 minus two gives me 52, 52 minus two gives me 50. 50, sorry, my zeros keep looking like sixes, boys and girls. 50 minus two gives me 48, and 48 minus two gives me 46. So there's your pattern, uh, subtracting two every time. All right, boys and girls, I hope you found that helpful. Have a great day and we will see you later.